my sunroom chat. Today I will present some strong evidence that magnetic fields have physical properties, just as proposed by Vest's theory. I will begin with an important observation provided by a physicist. When electrons are sent through a magnetic field, they are deflected, as shown in the next slide. I have pictured here the two poles of a magnet. S magnons created by the south pole become connected to the N magnons created by the north pole. The bonded complementary S magnons and N magnons form a physical barrier between the two poles. Now when a stream of electrons passes through this magnon barrier, the electrons are deflected as shown here. I believe the electrons climb the barrier in the same direction the leading edge of the electron is spinning. In this case, the leading edge is spinning up. The, de the degree of deflection depends on the density of the magnetic fields. The observation that electrons are deflected by magnetic fields is a powerful statement that magnetic fields have physical properties. The virtual elastic strings must be composed of matter. The interaction between flowing electrons and magnetic fields are now used to our advantage to make electric motors and electric generators. This is accomplished by deflecting the electrons flowing through an electric wire as discussed in my book. Even more dramatic and compelling is my experiment that demonstrates spinning table tennis balls curve more when shot through a magnetic field. The setup for this experiment is shown in the next slide. I used a Robopong to shoot spinning table tennis balls through three electromagnets that were arranged in line and arranged to curve as needed. Together they were approximately 137 centimeters long. Because there were three magnets, I used two DC power supplies. The 64 amp supplied by the battery charger was divided equally between two of the magnets and the HP DC power unit delivered 20 amps to the remaining magnet. A schematic illustration of the arrangement is shown in the next slide. As you can see, the Robopong was set up to eject balls along the electromagnets. The target that was scribed with vertical lines was 350 centimeters away from the Robopong. The table tennis balls were ejected from the Robopong with clockwise or counterclockwise spin and the points where they hit the target were recorded. A cross-section through the electromagnet is illustrated in the next slide. This is a photo of a portion of one of the electromagnets. The copper wires carrying the current ran lengthwise and surround the iron core made from one half of a pipe. I have illustrated it with a table tennis ball in flight that has clockwise spin. When the ball leaves the magnet, it will be curving to the right. I recorded where the ball struck the target with and without the electromagnets on. Let me emphasize two points. The plastic table tennis ball is not attracted to the north nor the south pole of the electromagnet, whether on or off. The balls curved more in the direction of the leading edge of the ball when the magnet was on. The results are shown in the next slide. In the first pair, 76 balls were shot with the electromagnet on. Then 76 balls were shot with the electromagnet turned off. In the next pair, I reversed which was shot first, just in case there was any heat buildup in the iron magnet. Actually, I never detected any change when felt by hand. I should emphasize that the electromagnet showed no magnetic tendency when turned off but they held fast to a nail when turned on. As you can see, in all 10 pairs, the ping pong balls curved more when the electromagnet was on. This is true even though the little plastic balls were not attracted to the north pole nor the south pole of the magnet. Three of the main points of this experiment are as follows. Spinning balls curve in the direction the leading edge of the ball is spinning with or without magnetic field in place. However, in every series, the balls were deflected more when traveling through a magnetic field. The results were statistically very significant. 
I got the same results whether the balls were spinning clockwise or counterclockwise, except the balls were deflected in the opposite direction. The increase in deflection was about 4.5% beyond the normal curvature due to air molecules, the Magnus effect. Conclusion. Magnetic fields have physical properties. They are composed of matter. Vest theory states they are composed of virtual elastic strings. The magnetic field deflected the balls in the direction the front edge of the ball was spinning. I suspect this is exactly the same when electrons are deflected by magnetic fields. This experiment demonstrates that magnetic fields have physical properties. How else can a magnetic field cause a little spinning ping pong ball to curve more? The little plastic ball has no magnetic attraction to either pole of a magnet, whether it is on or off, yet the balls curve more in a magnetic field. That's the crux of this experiment. Magnons must have physical properties, and if they have physical properties, all virtual elastic strings have physical properties. They are composed of matter. Thank you for attending my Sunroom chat. On the next slide, I summarize a few key points of today's discussion. Following this slide is a thought for you to consider, and a slide showing where you can read my book and view all of my movie, movies in their logical order. I hope today is especially nice for you. Thank you. Scientists have shown that magnetic fields deflect electrons. My experiments show that spinning table tennis balls in flight are deflected by magnetic fields. Conclusion Magnetic fields have physical properties. They are composed of matter.